Mary and Martha, John chapter 11, verses 21 and 32. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Our Bible reading today is from John chapter 11, and verses 17 to 37. Mary and Martha, along with their brother Lazarus, were among Jesus' closest friend. They were not part of the twelve. They were not in that inner circle of teaching and discipleship. They didn't travel with him, nor were they sent out by him. But they knew him, loved him, and welcomed him into their home. They listened to him teach, and they brought him food to eat. They were his support bull. They were his friends. Some people say that men and women can't be friends. Mary, Martha and Jesus knew otherwise. When the worst happened, when Lazarus died, they knew they would be there for one another. The sisters knew that their friend would care and they knew that he would come. But he had not come in time. First Martha and then Mary said the same thing to Jesus, in grief and perhaps with the note of reproach. If you have been here, my brother would not have died. They knew Jesus, you see. They knew who and what he was. They knew what he could do and they knew the compassion that motivated him to do it. They knew he healed strangers, sinners and enemies, considering all that he had done for those people how much more he would have done for his dear friend, Lazarus. But he did not come. He did not come in time for Lazarus. And yet, and yet Martha and Mary do not blame Jesus for their brother's death. They don't accuse him of not caring. They don't turn their backs on him and shut him out of their grief. Martha, dear Martha, with her firm grasp of the gospel theology, she knows that all hope is not lost. She knows that even now, Jesus could act. She knows that her brother will rise again on the last day. She grieves, but she does not grieve without hope, because she knows the one who is the resurrection and the life. Mary, sweet Mary, with her tender heart and emotional instinct, knows that Christ is her only source of comfort. She goes to him quickly out of her sorrow, and falls at his feet, still weeping. She brings her tears to him. They're the only possible expression of her faith in that moment. In their time of suffering, they send for Jesus. They trust his timing. They hold on to the hope he offers, and they find him in their only source of true comfort. And more than that, they find him the friend who cares, the friend who loves, the friend who weeps. Jesus wept. Even knowing what he was about to do, even knowing that Lazarus would not be long in that grave, he wept. Because death is always devastating. Because loss and separation are always painful. Because grief is a price we pay for love. <clears throat> to reflect, what does it mean to you to have Christ as your dearly beloved friend? When suffering comes, where do you turn? What hope and comfort do you find in Christ? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we turn to you in our suffering, knowing that you too have suffered grief and loss, rejection and death. We turn to you in our tears, knowing that you are the source of all true comfort, all hope and reconciliation. We turn to you in faith, knowing that you can move mountains, heal the sick, raise the dead and redeem the sinner. Lord Jesus, there is no one else to whom we can turn, for you have the words of eternal life. We turn to you. Amen.